A family in Ridgeways, Nairobi, is demanding for justice after their kin was allegedly stabbed to death by criminals using motorbikes. Well, 24-year-old Keegan Githua was attacked while on his way to his uncle's place within the estate before the criminals disappeared with his phone and laptop. Well, this attack brings to three the number of people killed by criminals using motorbikes in the last two weeks. Well, these suspects have been arrested in connection to two murders in Donholm and on Oweaki Way. This story was produced by Gatete Njoroge. Family and friends console Lucy Gidua at their home in Ridgeways, Nairobi. Lucy is inconsolable following the death of her only son, Keegan Gidua, in the hands of criminals using motorbikes on October 30th. Keegan had left their home around 10 a.m. to visit his relatives who live in the same estate, only to be attacked by thugs who stabbed him in the chest before stealing his laptop and phone. So these guys accosted him and uh, we assumed that there was a scuffle. Because when the lady found him, she said he was he was dirty. He had he had soil on his clothes, on his face. He had a wound on his chest, uh, where he was bleeding. It's it's so unfortunate, so unfortunate that that road is the same route he has used more than 300, 400 times for the last 13, 15 years. So it is so sad, so sad, so sad. The family reported the matter to Modaiga police station and what was shocking was that the criminals were so daring that they went about using Keegan's phone after stabbing him. Police moja lipope wa number ya Keegan ya pige, walipige simu kwa huyo na simu ikalia na ikachukuliwa. Huyo mkora alisema, yes, nisisi, mutadu. Hiyo simu kama ingefuatiliwa, ingejulikana iko wapi, na iko na nani, na mahali pale ipo. The family, which held a memorial service at Ridgeways Baptist Church on Sunday afternoon, has also planned a peaceful protest from the church to the scene of the crime on Monday in honor of the late Keegan and to urge the police to deal with the rising case of border border criminals. That we will not stand as a community and allow anyone to die. Uh, Unjustly. We request the government, we request the MCAs, we request everybody to please put an end to this. We have cried enough. We have cried enough. Keegan's murder brings to three the number of people who have been killed by criminals using Boda Boda in the last two weeks. In another incident, Arnold Misati was allegedly killed by criminals on October 27th using motorbikes at a bus stop along Waiyaki Way. The same gang is reported to have killed an accountant in Donholm area minutes after depositing money in a bank on October 28th. On November 3rd, a criminal riding a border border was caught on camera, stealing a phone from a pedestrian before speeding off at Maalim Juma Road. Reports of mugging in the Central Business District have also been on the rise, with Central Sub-County Commander Rafael Kimilu confirming that they have received two reports from members of the public. Come on, come. Nairobi Regional Police Commander James Mogera says they have arrested three suspects in connection to the Waiyakiwe and Don Home murder incidents. <laughs> The suspects, who will be arraigned in court in the coming week, were arrested after bullets collected from the scenes were subjected to a ballistic examination. And robbed him of his dear life. Police are yet to arrest suspects involved in the murder of Kegan Gedua. I always reminded him of God.